This is Twit. So, uh, yeah. Um, everybody got their ultras. The reviews have been out for a while. Stephen, have you had one for a while? I do. I got one uh, on launch day. There's the ultra with the uh, white ocean band right there. Nice. Oh, you have the ocean Sharp. band. I have the gray ocean band. And at some point, I'll bring in the... Did it take you a while to figure out how the ocean band... Been it, it, I read the instructions. I copiously read, I, you know, about the second loop and putting it through. Yeah, yeah. I think I threw the instructions out or something. Because <laughs> so it comes with a uh, removable. In fact, it's not even attached when you get it. Second loop for the right. tab end, and the, I didn't pay attention and I just put it around the back, and which means I couldn't get the tab in at all. <laughs> like it, it wouldn't fit. And I thought, well, that's this is. I don't. I, eh. Then I figured it out. I, I, I look, oh, there's holes there. I could just thread it through a hole. And now I quite like yes. it, and it's adjustable. So that's because this is the one size fits all band. Even your wet. I do like it. I have been using a lot of my previous solo loops with yeah. the Ultra because they all fit and they yeah. fit great. Yeah. yeah. In Very fact, I was concerned about my pad and quill. Uh, Micah, what do you young people call those? Uh, a cuff. Cuff. A leather cuff. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was concerned about that because it had a hole cut out for the uh, back of the watch, and it actually works. So everything's fine. Oh, yeah. So that's good. We're here to report that your Ultra, as huge as it might be, and I put this on Lisa's, my wife's wrist, and it really is too big for her. I said, come on, you would love this watch. So uh, what do you think, Mr. Robleth? I really like it. I mean, the battery life, I've been testing it. it went 48 hours straight yeah. off charger, and it was still at 28% battery, which is pretty amazing. And even uh, did some deep sea diving in my pool and tested <laughs> the, uh, the depth app. Oh, if only I had a pool. <laughs> <laughs> it did go down to five feet. And so yeah, as soon as the Apple Watch Ultra is submerged, depth app comes up, went down to five feet, and it saw it, read the water temperature, depth, and it was pretty accurate. So I turn, cool. you know, when you're setting it up, it says, well, <laughs> if you go in water, you want to know how deep you are and how cold it is. <laughs> and I said, well, of course I do, because if I fall off the Titanic, it would be nice as I sink to know how, how far I've sunk. Uh, but I maybe I'll scuba sometime. I have scuba in the past. I like scuba diving. This is really, though, yeah. silly for a person like me to have because it's oh a, i mean it's same for me i have no practical use for it the most yeah. action i've had is grocery shopping with apple watch <laughs> ultra uh but that larger display showing my grocery list that was that was key feature right there it's a great experience uh i yeah 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 that's a good point it's great for grocery shopping i'm sure apple will put that in their next <laughs> ad yeah i was shopping in the aisle at safeway when all of a sudden i couldn't remember iceberg or romaine then my watch <laughs> came to the rescue I am, I, I, am, I reached I reached in to buy a bundle of romaine and then that's when the automatic spritzers came on and <laughs> thank God I had the rugged version of my Apple Watch yeah. or else well things could have gotten pretty south pretty fast let me tell you that you know in this shot it the close it does look kind of hunky chunky. Um, yeah, that's, that's why that's why I'm looking forward to like designers coming forward with like more substantial bands like 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 the 70s to have like those like gauntlet sort of things that like that made you look like real beefy and real hunky like uh, it's, I was the day that it, the day that it was shown off I thought that oh my god there's going to be such a market on Etsy for like women's watch women's Apple Watch Ultra bands that make you look like uh, either Wonder Woman uh, or Xena. Because oh, cool. like if you if you if, if you're going if you're going for one of the, if you're going for one of those like ultra marathon like mucker sort of things you're gonna want to have like the 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 Wonder Woman brace or the Xena. Oh, this like, would be good, yeah, like for just, a mudder, yeah. How deep and how cold is the mud? Yeah, be, I will say although, uh, I watched a okay a DC Rainmaker actually has a YouTube channel. I just found it this morning, and he tested the depth in one of those like cylindrical yeah, yeah. water it's cases, the same thing. yeah, yeah, and. Yeah, he brought it down all the way to 130 feet, and that's when it stops measuring depth. That's like the maximum, at least in feet, 130 feet. Well, and uh, yeah. but it, it stayed accurate with the gauge. I thought uh, it's supposed I thought to it something really. It's supposed to be able to go like, to a thousand. Right. I mean, 100 meters, but that doesn't mean right. to continue to measure. Yeah, it does. It does. The, it does this cool thing that's very safe that says like it could probably measure beyond that, but the screen just simply says, "Okay, you're below 140 now. I'm out." I'm not. A, I'm not. You're, a, you're, 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 that seems you're like a lot. You'd have this. to be a specialized yeah. diver, right, to go deeper than that, or no? Yeah, I think that. I think that's when you need mix. Yeah. Like you, yeah. Uh, but this is I, cool. I was, I was so this is a hyper, this is a hyperbaric chamber for watches or something. He's got a. It's got a pump on it, and it can, it can increase the water pressure, huh? 
yeah. that's kind of cool. It's, 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 it's good video. He he said that he he said that he had it commissioned. He had it made so he had it made so long ago that like the tablet that he's he's using with is using like a eight, yeah. Look at the bezel on generation that outdated. <laughs> but he but he said that he, he he was hoping that he could he would like uh, be able to like uh, depth test like all these waterproof and like water resistant watches to failure. And then he found out that even when he bought like these really really crappy watches like off of AliExpress, like they don't just like catastrophically fail in a cool way. They just usually just kind of keep working until they stop. Yeah. So well, Apple says it's water resistant. Um, and yet they show people swimming in it and they say you can dive. Is it really, can you, is it waterproof? Why don't they say waterproof? I water, think that's a my, different my, kind of certification for proofing. It is, yeah, but, the IP. I mean, deep sea diving to 100 meters, I mean, that's pretty resistant, I would say. Unless you can only do it for 10 seconds and then you have to come back. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> uh, my... Uh, my understanding, the last time I looked into it, about yeah, like a year or two ago, is that the the difference is usually that if it's waterproof, that means that it has active measure, active countermeasures against ingress, uh -huh. meaning that you have gaskets that are being held together by positive mechanical seals. Whereas water resistant means that there's glue. There's it's at some point this glue this system could fail. At which point it doesn't. At which point this ages out of the uh, water resistant system. IP but, stands I, I think, for ingress protection. And uh, I don't, what is the IP rating uh, on this? Is it IP68? 68. 68? Okay, so IP6X yes. can resist high pressure heavy sprays of water. <laughs> uh, it's not about a water. So uh, is this a way that Apple can get out of uh, warrantying it if it fails underwater? It seems well, odd. Already, they they get out of warranting it by simply expressing that it's not it's not warranted against this. So, that, so they're good. Yeah, it, ha it has a bunch of military spec certifications, which are absolutely intense. If you look at the entire library of certifications that come under this category that they're that they're qualifying under, a lot of it really is. Does it does it resist against chemical attack? Does it resist against acid? Does it resist against again fighting the <laughs> fighting aliens on the on the USS Sulaco or something like that? Uh, but however, I was excited when I saw that certification. That I learned about the certification where it's passed against certain elements of that, but not the really, really exciting ones. So if you are, if you are on a, if your procurement re requirements, meaning we, meaning your boss will, uh, your, your company will, will, uh, will authorize the, the procurement of this device. So long as it has this kind of certification, it will pass some, some kinds of these super, super intense field certifications, but not others. But it, it does indicate, it does point out that a, uh, people like me are thinking, oh, well, if I'm uh, either I'm an adventurer or I'm just want a really cool, big, fancy watch. But there are a lot of people who like work in the oil, work in the energy industries, like we're working on oil derricks, people who are working in construction that they really do need something that they can they can use all day just as a regular like uh, regular fitness watch or just as a regular smart watch. They just need it to be super, super durable, even though they're not you know, uh, they're they're not skydiving off of Everest or something like that. They just they they they're operating heavy equipment. They need something that's gonna that's gonna hold up to that. Apple says, uh, rather, Wikipedia says, Mill Standard Eight Ten, which is the Apple standard they're saying we have. Mill Spec Eight Ten H Three is a flexible standard that allows users to tailor <laughs> test methods to fit the application. As a result, a vendor's claim of compliance to U.S. Mill Standard Eight Ten can be misleading because no commercial organization or agency certifies compliance. So, okay, fine. It's kind of meaningless. Uh, it's, I don't, you know, it's, uh, it's, you could take it out into battle, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, but the, but the point is made. In fact, didn't somebody try to hammer it and uh, ended up hammering, yeah. destroying the table? Some YouTuber? Yeah. That's a typical Supposedly YouTuber. Supposedly the Apple Watch stopped working before the screen was actually shattered. And uh, so the shock to the internals messed it up before the screen would break. But, I mean, enough hits, the screen shattered too. So Yeah. I'm yeah. not going to hit it with a hammer. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, I might I might take it swimming. <laughs> I, might, I might do I'm that. I'm concerned about my wrist if it gets hit with a hammer than anything else. Yeah, it's... that's a good point. Um, but I have to say I love it. I, I, I'm not curious, Stephen, what you think. Uh, unless, Andy, did you get one too? No, I think it's just me and Stephen at this point. Yeah. Nope, just you guys. Um I like the bigger screen because uh, I can actually type the passcode in <laughs> the first time every time. Uh, I are you using the Wayfarer, uh, the new Wayfarer uh, watch face. I typically used a modular watch face, and that's one of the weird things with the display because it's larger. It's scaled up all yeah. the watch faces, and it feels a little sparse. Like it's not yeah. feeling like the normal modular would feel. So that's, that's a little what, weird and. 
That's why yeah. I'm using Wayfair because I have eight complications, which I like. <laughs> I love. I have love my. Yeah. And if I double tap the bezel, I can uh, I can see what longitude and latitude mm -hmm. I'm at, uh, which is not all that useful. But and it has a <laughs> and it has a compass yeah. on it. It also does some really right. interesting things. Uh, you can set waypoints. So if like breadcrumbs, if you're Hansel right. and Gretel, it'll you can drop waypoints <laughs> as you're as you're hiking. Which means if you're going off trail, at least you'll be able to maybe get back. Uh, one of the waypoints can be where your car is parked. So for me, that's more useful. <laughs> Im importantly, of note, that is a that is a watch OS uh, feature. And so can yours do it with, too? Um, yeah, any oh, modern nice. Apple Watch is able to do the wayfinding thing. Oh. Well, never mind yeah. then, iOS Today host. <laughs> I just, I just you think can't do no, longitude and latitude, can you? I cannot. But okay. that's just easily one of the coolest features, in my opinion, the wayfinding thing. I do like to it hike. Is. And so cool. I was excited to see yeah. that it was available yeah. on multiple watches. Uh, I, uh, I just say, uh, as I'm, you say, Stephen, my battery life. So yeah. they want you to sleep with it on five nights in a row so that you can project your ovulation, which I'm excited about. So uh, <laughs> I have been sleeping with it on. <laughs> Only hit Lisa once last night, which was, which was good. <laughs> Because this can leave quite a mark, and uh, yeah. and battery life overnight is like six percent loss. Actually, it was like more even like four percent loss. It was very low. Uh, I wore it overnight yeah, last night, all day yesterday with a workout. It was down to fifty three percent after f a full twenty four hours. So that bodes well for forty eight hour battery life. Charged it up in less than an hour while I was having breakfast. Uh, this yeah. is a watch you can, if you might not want to, but it is certainly one you can wear all the time. And that's what I did. I, I sleep with mine. I slept with my Series 7 and earlier watches anyway for sleep tracking. And with like the two-day battery life, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Just wear it overnight. And the charger, it did charge up very quickly, quicker than I would have thought being a larger battery. But if you have that faster charging capability like the Series 7 did, and you have a charger that supports it, it charged up very quickly. I was surprised. I was a little disappointed for 700 or 800 bucks. It should come with a better puck. It comes with the same puck that the other... Lesser. You get a braided cable, though. Oh, it's braided, true. It is uh, braided. Wow. Apple Watch cable, yeah. <laughs> so the old edition old... watches would come with that fancy, you know, uh, ultra suede <laughs> table stand. I still have my original with I that because I got a stainless steel original yeah. Apple Watch. I still have the box. Yeah, that's I will say I'll be testing uh, this Apple Watch Ultra in the hurricane uh, that's actually headed my way. Oh, where are you right now? <laughs> oh, my word. I am near uh, Tampa, Florida. Oh, and, Tampa. Uh, it's going to be the first time in 100 years Tampa's yeah. had a yes. hurricane. I jokingly hurricane. tweeted, uh, I tweeted last week when I got it jokingly, oh, I get to test it in a hurricane. And now I'm uh, regretting that tweet because <laughs> oh, I think it will be a fault. little <laughs> you legitimate did it. test. Yes. And uh, I, unfortunately, I, I do have to say I'm about to lose power. I did not plan for this. That's okay. Uh, if you lose power, uh, we'll wish you well and we'll think about you as you. Ian. So it's making, it's made landfall. Is it, is it stormy out? Well, I'm about to lose power because there's a generator being hooked up currently and, uh, I was told it wouldn't need to have the power off, but it's going to. And so when that kicks off, I'm not sure how long I'll be out. But oh, uh, I'll see. be reporting live from the hurricane floor uh, tomorrow. <laughs> and I will let you know how Apple Watch Ultra does in that kind of environment. <laughs> wow, this is exciting. <laughs> Steven, can, 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 I, can I make one request just for, I mean, this is, this would be a generous gift for us. But if you if the, if the crew says, oh, by the way, we're going to be shutting off power in about 30 seconds, could you just say, oh, my God, the winds are starting to pick up now. I don't know how so that you get cut off in mid-sentence because that oh, would make that a really would great good. thumbnail for the video. That would be, I mean, it'd be <laughs> yeah. great for the okay, channel. I'll, I know it's not your channel, but I mean, I'll just in the back of your mind. To just cut it off if now, if you and I'll, it, I'll try to you know. time it right. <laughs> if you wow. could like, and just reach, just just like give the camera a little bit of shake and like say, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I got to head hurricane. for the shelter. I'm, yeah. Wow. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, mean, I should be making fun. I hope everything works out okay. That was rude of me. Thank you. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. Uh, yeah, so if you, if the power goes out, we'll understand it when you yep. disappear. Appreciate it. Sorry about that. No, that's quite all right. <laughs> Do you have family in Puerto Rico as well? Not anymore. Every, we all oh, okay. moved to New York. got out. And okay. then, um, yeah, so so no one uh, no one's there now. Yeah, because it uh, got hit very hard. And uh, yeah, our thoughts and prayers, as they say, out to our friends in Puerto Rico. Um, yeah, I was going to try and fly my DJI Mini 2 drone, uh, but I don't think it's going to withstand those hurricane force winds. <laughs> I, I think that's going to work. <laughs> Will not it, work. Yeah, mine doesn't even like a light breeze, to be honest with you. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can't take it to the beach. No. It's just, yeah, know. yeah, I know. Here's a teardown of the Ultra, uh, where in which you could see the giant, uh, the very giant 
uh, battery in it. This is at the iFixit uh, folks who do such a great job uh, with yeah. their teardowns. Um, it, it, one thing I did learn, though, though, it, it, as tempting as it might be, because there's Penelope screws in the back, very visible, uh, do not take your uh, watch apart. Apparently, it's not easy to put back together again. <laughs> Unless you're a trained professional, do not. Uh, anyway, the, the kind of the bottom line review, Stephen, on the uh, Ultra, worth it? Well, you know, I, I do like the bigger screen. And I was always a titanium watch guy. I liked the 6 and 7 in titanium. I thought it showed less scratches. Plus, I like the sapphire display. And you don't get that option on the Series 8 anymore. So if you want titanium, well... <laughs> There it goes. <laughs> oh, bye bye, Stephen. Bye. It's been a Thanks pleasure to be talking to you. Good luck in the hurricane. Holy camoly. That's scary. That's, <laughs> That's scary. terrifying. I heard his yeah, I heard his UPS. Yeah, beep, beep. There goes the power. Uh okay, we're <laughs> watch show this. Show the wide shot. The hurricane. Because what happens now is Brooke comes in and removes you <laughs> from the presence. Yeah. Wait, he's still there. <laughs> Wait a minute, he's back. Put him back. He's in the <laughs> dark. I'll last. I'll last as, uh, as long as my APC runs on uh, my Mac Studio. I hear the beeping. I hear the beeping. <laughs> wow, wow, it's I'm amazing. Ian, it's a Central miracle. Florida. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> We're going to call him uh, Lazarus Robles, Robles from now on. That's awesome. I, I have the same UPS when I heard that beep. I'm like, hey, I'll I go. know that what, beep. What's yeah. happening in my office? I yeah. know that beep. <laughs> so if you're hearing yeah. it, folks, it's not you. It's him. Uh, That's it. But anyway, uh, yeah, final Apple Watch Ultra review. I really like it. You know, whether it's worth it if you're not an adventurer is hard to say. Liking the material, liking the bigger screen for accessibility. If you like making super large text, sorry about the beeping. Uh, that might be a worthwhile feature. But uh, I don't know. It remains to be seen. I'm going to use it for the next few weeks without my Series 7, just strictly Ultra, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, turn on the flashlight on the watch, and then that way you can just use it yeah. to, oh, that's a great, to, to light your, that's a great light your idea. beard. The beard will Some stay real lit. Some real ambiance, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not that bright. Yeah, there yeah, it it's a little bit. Really, you have to keep it, twisting it, it, it your wrist to do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's picky. That's tough. Uh, there we got a bunch for the Lit by his Apple Watch in the midst of Hurricane Ian, direct from Tampa, it's beard.fm. Wow. Steven, so Steven's going to be in like in, camera as well. <laughs> I Steven's going to be in like the, for, for, for the next Apple keynote where the you know, but thank God that I had my Apple Watch was able to light me during my live stream. If I just don't want to think about what would have happened if I had not had my Apple Watch. That's hysterical. <laughs> if I do my Apple Watch and my iPhone, I can kind of really you're well lit now. <laughs> you're well. You're yeah, probably the I brightest thing in that. Tampa. You need you need an iPad yeah, for hair lighting. Out. That's great. So we should point out. <laughs> yeah, we should okay, point yeah. out. Uh, it, it's not even raining in Tampa yet. This is because they are no. converting your power to a generator uh, at this time so that you'll be ready when the hurricane hits, but you are actually not yet in a storm. <laughs> That's right. And I think uh, the APC will probably last for 10 whole minutes. So That's good. sorry again for the, the short, short uh, visit.